Now let's take question number 17. Which of the following structures or regions is incorrectly paired? Now here we are given the structures of the central nervous system and we have to choose the incorrect pair. So first one medulla oblongata controls respiration and cardiovascular reflexes that is right. These involuntary reflexes are the function of medulla oblongata. Limbic system consists of fiber tracts that interconnect different regions of the brain and controls movement. Now here this is incorrect because limbic system is our emotional brain responsible for various types of emotions like fear, rage, so on but certainly it has nothing to do with movement. The other options also let us review. So here we have corpus callosum band of fibers connecting left and right cerebral hemispheres that is right. Hypothalamus it produces releasing hormones and also regulates temperature, hunger and thirst. So after seeing these four options we can easily say that the incorrect choice given here is the option 2. So that would be our correct answer. Now let us move ahead to the next question that is 71. Now here the transparent lens in the human eye is held in its place by. Now the lens is attached to the ciliary body by the help of suspensory ligaments. So if we see this here what we find that in the first choice ligaments attach to the ciliary body that would be our correct answer. So it is not to the iris or not to the smooth muscles. So here our correct answer is this one that is option 1. Now next question 72. Now here we have which of the following hormones can play a significant role in osteoporosis. Now in this case if we see aldosterone this is sodium retaining hormone and prolactin of course milk secretion is because of prolactin. Progesterone this is the pregnancy hormone aldosterone again sodium retaining parathyroid hormone now this is certainly related to osteoporosis but again not prolactin. So if we see this fourth choice estrogen in case of females it inhibits the osteoclast activity and it protects from osteoporosis and that is the reason that after menopause when estrogen secretion is insufficient there are greater chances of osteoporosis. While parathyroid hormone increases osteoclast activity so excess of parathyroid can lead to osteoporosis. So here our correct answer would be this option 4. Now we can go on to question number 73. Now let us take question 73. Which of the following cells of gastric mucosa indirectly helps in erythropoiesis? Now erythropoiesis is formation of RBCs. And these cells which are present in the gastric mucosa, the chief cells are responsible for the secretion of the enzymes pepsinogen, prorenin, mucus cells secrete mucus, goblet cells of course they also are mucus secreting cells and if we see these parietal cells which are also called auxentic cells, they secrete castles intrinsic factor which is a glycoprotein and this glycoprotein binds with vitamin B12 which has been taken in the diet and then that complex is absorbed. So this B12 even if it is present in the diet and there is no castles intrinsic factor it will not be absorbed and B12 is necessary for DNA maturation during the process of erythropoiesis. So here our answer would be this option 3 and that is parietal cells or the auxentic cells. Now let us move on with the next question that is 74. Now moving on with the question number 74. Now this is a match the column type question where in one column we are given the various components present in our blood plasma and in the other column we have been given with their functions. 
so we have to find out the correct match now fibrinogen is the blood clotting protein which is converted to fibrin during the process of clotting now globulin they are basically of three types alpha beta and gamma but it is the gamma globulins which are responsible for defense mechanism because these are the antibodies and albumin which is the most abundant plasma protein it is responsible for osmotic balance so it is maintaining the blood colloidal osmotic pressure so out of this then we can choose so here our correct answer is option 3 now let's move on to question 75 